In this video, we'll learn how to use V-Ray N-Mesh, which was introduced in V-Ray 6. Let's add a V-Ray N-Mesh to the scene from V-Ray menu under Geometry submenu. Hey folks, welcome to Mograph Plus. This video is a free sample from our course, The Ultimate Introduction to V-Ray 4 Cinema 4D. It's a massive 13 plus hours course in which we explore all the aspects of V-Ray 4 Cinema 4D thoroughly. Make sure to check it out. The link is in the description. Also, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Enmesh basically allows you to tile 3D geometry patterns across and can be used to create realistic fabrics, fences, panels, and so on. Let's see how it works. So first, we need to have the 3D geometry that we want to tile it across. In this case, we have this simple 3D knit pattern and we want to tile it across this fabric or cloth or whatever it is. Next, we need to add the pattern that we want to tile across to this reference objects list in the Enmesh geometry. And then we need to add the geometry that we want to tile our pattern across. In this case, it is this 01 mesh under this null called throw. So add that as the source object. Now you notice there is a crop box around the pattern geometry or it should be, especially if the pattern geometry was selected when adding the Enmesh geometry to the scene from the viewer menu. But if it wasn't, to fix that crop box to the pattern, you can simply use this fit in object space button instead of doing it manually using this crop box size values. Now you can see this crop box is fitted to the pattern. Now let's start IPR to see what we get. Now we can start adjusting the Enmesh parameters to get exactly what we want. You notice the geometry pattern has been tiled across the fabric. If we wanted to, we can hide the underlying mesh. Let's do that. I won't be going through every single parameter here. Most of them are pretty self-explanatory. To see what we are doing, let's set the tiling to 2 and 2. So first you have this crop box size on X, Y, and Z, which are controlling this bounding box or crop box around the pattern geometry. So we can tile the entire pattern or crop into it and only use a portion of it for the tiling process. This height parameter controls the thickness of the resulting geometry. Normally, the lower the tiling values down here, the bigger the height percentage and vice versa. For example, if I set the height to 200% and set the tiling to 25 and 25, we can zoom in to see what's going on exactly. Now, if we reduce the height to 50%, to reduce the thickness of the resulting geometry, we get a more realistic result. Height offset percentage sets the VR and mesh geometry offset along the surface normals. To see this better, we can set the tiling to 3 and 3 and height to around 200% as well. Now we can play around with the height offset parameter and move the end mesh geometry along the surface normals of the base mesh. Pretty cool. For now, set the height offset and height to 100%. Down here, using these basic parameters, you can rotate and offset the pattern on U and V. It also allows you to introduce randomness to offset and rotation, which is pretty cool. Now let's zero out all of these offset and randomness parameters and zoom out to see the entire geometry. I'm going to set the tiling to around 40 and 40 and height to around 50%. Height offset could stay at 100 as well. And now we get this beautiful realistic fabric pattern tiled across our geometry 
and it is very fast compared to displacement mapping and can be much more realistic. And uh, we can still zoom in and get these beautiful, realistic close-up shots. You can achieve amazing stuff with Enmesh. Just try it out and see what you can achieve. Okay, pretty cool. So in this video, we learned about VR Enmesh. See you in the next one. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com and check out our premium CGI and rendering courses for Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, Maya, Arnold, Corona, V-Ray, Redshift and much more. See you in the next one.